Welcome, family and friends. We are gathered here today to join Joseph and Hillary in marriage, a union to be undertaken freely, without reservation of any kind, and with complete dedication, commitment, and respect for one another. If any present know of any reason why these two should not be joined in marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. So welcome to one and all who have traveled from near and far. Joseph and Hillary, thank you for your presence here on this beautiful day, and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to be married. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting, and believing in each other. Through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make important things matter and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as life mates and partners. The bride and groom have chosen two readings about love that especially resonated to them and have asked their eldest children to share them. Tori, if you could come forward for the first reading. A reading from the Word of God. Love is always patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is not boastful or conceited. It is never rude, and it never seeks its own advantage. It does not take offense or stir up grievances. Love does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but finds its joy in the truth. It is always ready to make allowances, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love never comes to an end. As it is, these remain. Faith, hope, and love, the three of them, and the greatest is love. If I could now ask Jessica to come forward for the second reading, please. I love you, not only for what you are, but what I am when I'm with you. I love you not for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for that part of me you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish, weak things that you cannot dimly see there and for drawing out into the light all of the beautiful belongings that no one else has looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you are helping me to make of the lumber of my life not a tavern but a temple, out of the works of my every day, not a reproach but a song. I love you because you have not done more than any creed could have done to make me good and more than any fate to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. Two people in love do not live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength with which they nourish not only each other, but the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family, have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family they are creating here today. <laughs> 